Hey guys, it's Shinji42. In today's video, we're going to talk about the anniversary event and how you guys can succeed in this event. And also, if I am going to be competing for this event, the pinnacle of strength, I'm going to talk about the rewards here. Is it worth it or is it not? <laughs> So for this event, we have the anniversary celebration. Um, this is going to be logging in day by day, as you guys can see, uh, five days in here, straight in a row, and you have to perform the tasks that they're going to be giving to you. We've seen this on different events already, similar concept in here, log in and you can get some rewards, do some uh, resource gathering and um, increase your technical power, um, which is going to be your technology. Uh, it's going to be, you know, different um, events in here in the day two, day three, day four, day five. There's going to be defeating barbarians, defeating uh, barbarian fortress and increasing, you know, building power. So those are some of the things that you can get in here. And after that, once you perform all of this, this will rank up um, this, you know, progression in here and you can get some speed ups in here and also some epic commander sculptures as long as it's still the same as previously being done. Celebration cake. I didn't really like the whole concept here. Um, it's the same um, donation in here as we've seen from previous. The concept that I'm trying to say is that the rewards. I don't really like the rewards in here because you don't really get the best stuff in here for the rewards. If I'm thinking about it, because from the previous rewards, you where you spend 7,000 gems, that's actually the best ones because you can also get some um, more stars and also legendary commander sculptures and um, troop training expansion. So I prefer the other ones, but I wouldn't really recommend this. And I wouldn't probably say that this is the best event in this anniversary um, event. So looking for candles for you guys to donate in this celebration of cake, um, you can look for candles by similar to um, strategic reserves, right? So map collection, uh, gathering resources on, uh, on the field and then collecting from your city. So you should be using your boost um, for your research production and um, defeating barbarians. So you have to grind for the barbs. All right. So, and then the sight and spoil, this is another anniversary event where you can get Sun Dyok, the Korean commander, which is a gathering commander. This is freebie. You guys just need to log in straight for eight days and you can get, let's see, you can get um, 60 and 70, 80 sculptures of Sun Dyok in here. So the rest of that, you will probably have to use universal commander sculptures, I assume unless unless they actually are going to give us Sundyok in here instead of a epic commander so we're not so sure yet but we'll see um pinnacle of strength um this is going to be competing across the continent so it's going to be not you know your kvk setup but it's going to be your continent so from us it's going to be the 221 two, two, um 222, 223, 224, 225, 226, 227, 228. Oh wait, no, that doesn't make sense. But <laughs> let's let's take a look. Go to your continent in here. Um, find your continent or 228. So it would be right no, right here. So it's going to be 217, 219, 221, 223. Oh, this is weird. Where is 230? Oh, that's wrong. My goodness, guys. Where am I going at? 228. 1228. Right here. Uh, so it's going to be from 225 to 232. Now, King of Odyssey used to be one of the top kingdoms. What happened? I thought they were on the top 32. I thought they were, they were on the top 32 because I swear. Um, what happened? I wonder. Did people leave? They're not top 32 anymore. So they used to be, I thought. Um, now I'm super confused right now. I don't, know, I don't know what I'm talking about. So yeah, 1230 was there. I wonder what happened. Um, that's kind of weird. So do we still have top 32? So yeah, this is one of the top 32. I guess 1230 is now not top, top 32. Uh, maybe some people left in there. So maybe it's a good option actually to compete um rewards in here let's take a look the rewards in here you get some legendary equipment material which is going to be very very difficult to craft these um you know 
crafting these legendaries is going to take you so much time to get there. But really, you need that if you are going to get this. So if you're going to be at VIP 16, you're going to get the Trial of the Lost Kingdom. That's going to be very beneficial for you. Um, taking a look on how you can craft this, how much, you know, materials do you really need? You need so much. You need so much materials. 10 is not enough for you to build a equipment. 10 is not enough. Now, would I compete for this event? Probably, probably not. The only reason I would compete for this event is for bragging rights. I do have the resources for competing on this event. I have it and I still have some speed ups and um, not to flex in here, guys, you know, being an F2P, we grind a lot. <laughs> if you guys don't get the humor, just comment below. Um, we have won, accidentally have won the power up event. So I accidentally have won. I was going to let Magi won or uh, win because I want him to get the 20, you know, sculptures because I don't really want it. I just want to get the 10. Um, but Apache here, he pushed, he pushed to 6 million. And I was like at 5.8 5, 5 million and I pushed to 6.1 or 6.2, I think, or 6.3, I forgot. And, and I was like afraid that he might push forward. So I finished up my technology. Um, I finished up my technology for my infantry, so it gave me another 300, um, 300,000 boost of uh, 300k, 300k boost, 300,000, yeah, 300,000 boost. So crazy, um, I accidentally, so I'm so sorry that I actually won that event, but it is what it is, it's right here. And um, if you guys seen something in here, this thing, we'll talk about that next time. There will be a video where we actually push for this one and um, it's going to be very interesting because we were also getting rallied like triple double rally on our pass and while we are upgrading as well. But in this video, we're not really going to tackle that as much, but there is going to be a video on that one. So make sure you guys are always tuning in in this channel. Now, you know, looking for these candles are great. Um, defeating barbarians, you need to have your AP. So hopefully you guys have saved your AP. Um, another thing that are coming out for the anniversary in here is, um, where is this? This one. Take a look in here. There will be a um, race against time, which is going to be killing barbarians within five minutes. So you, what I suggest for you guys, if you guys want to try this, we'll do also a video on it one, um, is to go find a cluster of barbarians and then start the event. I think that should work that way. Uh, and then you can start defeating the barbarians that way. Have, make sure you have full march. Um use your expansions use your buff kill and defeat those barbarians as fast as you can so you know um having more troops you can defeat them faster and having buff get the runes if you can get some marching speed awesome if you can have the justice title even better there's going to be sharp hands and quick eyes we've already seen this this puzzle i am not very good at it and um picking up pieces yeah that thing um what else do we need to talk about here um, probably approximately about two days from now, there's going to be a bundle. So if you are a modular spender, I wouldn't recommend for you guys to be buying right now. If you guys want to save up some, you know, bundles, um, if you want to guys want to save up some money, um, buy it later after two days. And I'm sure there's going to be a recharge event also. So if you guys are moderate spenders, spend later, wait for a couple days before the, um, event bundles come out and there's going to be a recharge bundle. So I should have mentioned to you guys also that this celebration cake, it is going to be a collective work from your alliance. Um, that's why the rewards isn't as good. And you donate a candle and then you get XP from that way. Um, and then what happens is that from you donating the candle, you can actually get, so let's take a look in here, what we actually got. Um, you get another candle. So you donate the anniversary candle and then you get the burning candle. Once you have the burning candle, you can now go to uh, this event, this, um, where is that? I always get confused. You can go to the party favors, um, you, then you can convert your candles into another item. Now I'll give you guys two strategies in here. If you are going to be donating or getting cream cheese, cream cake, cream cheese, if you're going to get cream cake, man, cream cheese, that sounds so good right now. Um, Philly. Um, what is that called? Like uh, smoked salmon with cre uh, cream cheese. That sounds good. 
Okay, cream cake in here. If you're gonna donate gems, get cream cake. Uh, if you're a moderate spender, I would definitely go get for a legendary commander sculpture. Try to get all of that because that's a really good value. Um, if you're a moderate spender, if you don't really need the buff from the joy feast, joyful, joyful feast, don't get it. There's really no point, no point for you to spend. Save your gems into the more than gems event, and you can get more golden sculptures. Now. If you are, you know, moderate spenders, free to play, go get the keys as well. Go get the stars. You need the stars for you to upgrade the star level of your commander because if you want to try to get a level 60 maxed out, it's going to be very difficult for you without stars. Now, if you're a high spender, of course, like what I'm going to be doing is that, well, not that I'm saying I'm a high spender, hashtag F2P. <laughs> um, we're, gonna, we're not going to get the seven days. We're going to get everything. We're going to get the um, commander sculpture here. We're going to get this anniversary cake. Now, if you guys want to grind for barbs for F2P, go get this because this is going to be nice. You know, this is a once-in-a-lifetime one and celebrate the anniversary for Rise of Kingdoms. Definitely get this. Uh, I'm going to get this, get, you know, get the permanent one, get this one, and get this one. And then also get, all you know, of course, the stars. That's 50 um and also we're going to so we're gonna get you know whatever remaining we have of the cream cake we're gonna get 60 minute speed ups and we're also gonna you know spank some you know resource pack a um let's take a look into the themes in here so you will get the joyful feast in there so it's infantry defense plus five percent so if you're an infantry commander this might work for you um another one is going to be the infantry health plus 10 percent but you're reducing cav attack and archer defense major reduction in here but you're gaining 10 percent of infantry health so if i ever compete for this event and i get this theme what i'm going to be doing is that if i'm defending a pass defending a flag with infantry i would switch this out and i would have richard as a defender because the healing is going to be factoring with the infantry health. I believe that's the calculation there. So the healing factor calculation. So that's my approach if I do compete for it. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to compete. I want to see how much of uh, spending we're going to see um, to compete for this. Um, we're going to see how much speed up we have. We're going to see how much um, power we can actually increase. If it's too much, you know, if it's going to cost us way too much, we're probably not going to compete for it. We're just going to say, screw it. But if it's something that is, that is winnable, I will compete. I typically try to win. Uh, you know, When I do, do compete in the, those type of events, I try to win. Unless somebody talked to me, hey, you know what? Um, I want to get you know, a certain amount of sculptures, which is I'm so sorry for Mejai because I accidentally won that event. But um, for this one, I think it's going to be very interesting if I do. If I do compete for this, I will definitely let you guys know. I am working on infantry next, so that's going to be something that I am going to have a, you know, definite strong commander as well. I have Richard here as 5554. I will max him out at some point, and then I will also going to be maxing out um, Alexander. I have 554 here with Alexander. My goal is to make a Richard Alex defense um, on the pass, on the flag on a fortress so that's going to be my goal and we're going to do some testing soon as well with these commanders now that my tech has increased um if you guys can see um we're going to start doing some you know um battle testing with other players that are in the same level um like i said earlier we will have a video about this on how we got those stuff so it's going to be very interesting i don't want to talk about it right now i don't want to make it a big hype We'll make it a big hype on that video instead now guys um you guys seen the buff in here for the city you guys have seen pretty much everything now we've talked about it so hopefully you know this video was good this is just a brief video that i want to do for the event and um hopefully you guys have learned something here anyway guys i will see you guys again next time i have to go now because i also have to edit other stuff you know and i uh, got work um yeah, guys, I really enjoyed this, and um, I want to kind of challenge you guys as well in uh, in my Discord. Join in my Discord. Um, I want to do another meme review, so drop your memes on my Discord, and also there's going to be a meme channel. I want to challenge you guys also of making a meme about me. So let's see who can have the funniest meme about Shinchi42, and we will make a meme review and present you guys there. I don't know about rewards yet, so I'm thinking... 
and how to reward the best meme of Shinchi 42. But just compete and then we'll see what happens. Either we just do a shout out or we do a reward or we just give you a presentation. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys again next time. Bye.